I have not felt well at all today. I've barely gotten out of bed to do anything, and I just, I don't know, I've just been wanting to sleep, but my brain has not been shutting off whatsoever. It's just been a day of trying to get up and trying to do, and it's not happened very much. I'm still so exhausted, and now I'm drowsy because I had to take something to stop the sickness. And I think after this, I'm just going to go right back to bed. I mainly watched YouTube, and I also watched The Crow, and I forgot just how deeply that movie resonated with me. I haven't watched it in years just because, I don't know, so many things have happened in my life where I've tried to, you know, find a person similar to that and it all fell through and each time it would just, it would push me a little bit farther away, but watching it tonight has just been wonderful. It's been absolutely wonderful. Brandon Lee was such an amazing actor, and his stunt double, who actually took over for him after he died, did a fantastic job. And I, it's sad to think that the guy who played the police chief is gone, the guy who played Tintin, no, not Tintin, um, Fun Boy is gone. But it's still such an amazing movie. And when many people see it, they don't realize that there's a deeper meaning than just a man avenging him and his girlfriend, what had happened to them. He saved that entire city from a tyrant. He was, in essence, a protector. He was a spirit who was a protector. And when I first got my tattoos, I really didn't... I understood from the depth of the story I've been working on that closely relates to the movie, but I got the words Eidolon Protector and Eidolon is Spirit, and I also have a crow tattoo on my shoulder for that for that movie. It's more of a girlified crow than anything, and I'll go ahead and show you. I love it though. The tattoo artist did an amazing job, and I'm gonna get a sword on my other arm on the other side. I look, I so look forward to that, but in essence, that's what he was. He was a spirit protector. He was an avenger. He was this amazing person, and that's kind of always what I wanted to be, is just a protector of people. And I think that's when I get to know people, I when I get to know people and they become my friends, I instantly just have this connection and I want to protect them and I want to help them. And many people don't understand why, but I don't know, unless they see that movie, I think it's a little hard to understand, but I think that what he did was amazing. Many people would call it murder for murder, but what Eric Draven did was basically save an entire city, save all these people and avenge a wrongful death, a really wrongful, wrongful death of him and his girlfriend, and an injustice that would have just continued, because of course the police had no leads, and even if they suspected, how are you going to prove it? And I guess, in a way, it's always affected my writing, because I'm all for justice, you know, right justice. And in this world, you hardly see that. Unless the police have an absolute lead, you never know. There's so many murders that have gone unsolved. I guess I've always just wanted to be a spirit protector. So when I've written, been writing the Crow's Girl Chronicles, that's what she is. She's a spirit who, in essence, was killed and she comes back and, you know, takes down the murderers and the rapists and just all the bad people in the city, the, the really bad people. And she goes home in the daytime and feels that the city is just getting a little bit safer, that the world is becoming just a little bit better place. And I guess I've always envied that because that's something I've always wanted to do is just to take down evil wherever I can, you know, the known evil and just make the world a better place. But that's why I try to be nice to everybody I meet just to make that world a little bit, make the world a little 
bit better place through any way that I can. That's just me. And I think that's the duty of every human being is to make the world a better place, just a little bit at a time in any way you know how. And no matter what you do, just do it to the best of your ability. Make people smile, make people happy. And no matter what you're going through, just try to help people along the way as they help you. I don't know, I guess many people would call me a sentimental, but I don't know. I enjoy it. But for now, I'm going to go lay down, I'm going to write a little bit more, and just see where it all takes me. Have a good night, guys.